the thing that has to be considered is the resolution okay resolution is something that determine the accuracy of the structure okay so the resolution should be less than 2 that means these two but it is not possible every time you will get the structure with the less resolution okay so in that case you can go for the higher resolution but if the lesser resolution is available go for the less resolution that will determine the accuracy of the structure and while using the CAD thing the accuracy of the structure is most important because most accurate structure will determine the exact phenomenon okay in the, on the basis of the release date, like the, you want to go for the latest, like recently somebody has designed or, you know, uh, sold the structure, this structure of the protein, you want to go for that, you can just go for that accordingly. These are the refinements can be done on that basis. And these structures can be downloaded in your system. As I told you, the things are already available, you just have to do your part. Okay. Next, the PubChem is there. PubChem is for the chemical compound it is the part of ncbi only here what you have to do here can you see this these are the possibilities they have given you can type the name of the disease for which you want to you know search the structure chemical compound against which you want to search the chemical compound you can directly give the name of the chemical compound as well you can give the name of the target gene also okay you can give the molecular formula as well you can give these are the ids these are the smiles these are the inshai key these are the formulas one line that that is called the one dimension notation of the chemical structure okay that can be given these are the possible ways to search the popcorn database okay here i have go i have searched for the aspirin and here the details are there okay by clicking on this you will see many more details will be given accordingly these are the content like these are the details that has been given Okay. Um, I guess somebody. Okay. 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 So here is the information about the structure. Many information you will be seeing. Can you see here? It is also giving you the safety hazard, the toxicity, patents, etc. All the details will be given in the PubChem. And all these details are directly linked to the PubMed also. Okay. Now these are the repositories or the resources we can go for further. You can like check by yourself also. The drug bank Unicode, you can check by yourself as well. Okay. That will be an exercise for you. Okay. Now we have find out that, okay, these are the resources, the computational resources from where we can get the data and you will get the data as well. But now the question is what kind of data are you going to download? What kind of data you are getting from those resources? Okay. As we are working on the CAD thing, that means we will be working on the structures Okay, so we will be uh, working on the structural file formats. Okay, so here we will be discussing three major file, file structural file formats where you will find everywhere, like in every ap application, you will see these are the file formats which are being used. So first of all, what is the file format? File format is nothing but the way the information is stored in the computer system. Okay, so like uh, you must be knowing uh, like the computer understand the binary language. Okay, so whatever the file like the if you remember the PDB. Okay, we have seen that one structure is there, but that structure is stored in a different way in the computer system. The thing you are saying that is the visualization of the information but how the information is stored that is what your file format is okay so these three important file formats are the mole and the sgf and the pdb okay mole and sgf these two are for the chemical structures or compounds pdb for the proteins okay basically mole and sgf both are little bit same how these two are different they contain the they encode the chemical structure basically okay the confirmation what information they are storing information about the atoms and bonds chemical structures are made up of what atoms will be there bonds will be there right that information is stored in the text format that is what your mole file is 
SDF is the extended form of the mole. What is the meaning of extended? That means the SDF file will contain the additional properties of the compound. Mole file will not contain any kind of properties. It will give you only the atoms and bonds thing. But SDF will give you the molecular weight, the property, like whether it is acidic or some any, any additional properties, what, whatever has been submitted by the submitter. Those information, those properties will be there in the SDF file. That is the difference between these two. 